Ah, look at the setup. My color slides on this horizontal bar without friction and supports this 50 pound weight. The question, if the load P is 48 that is applied on the color, then what horizontal distance, look at it, should exist between the weight and the color for this to be in equilibrium? As always, first step, free body diagram, and this is on the collar, which is where all the forces converge. And there is the tension of my rope, which pulls upward, the normal force that has to be downward to counteract this, the load on the collar of 48, which is the problem. Now notice that there are only three forces. Then I can work with a force triangle. Notice that between these two, they generate a resultant. That resultant must be equal to the tension for this to be in equilibrium. So I set it up like this. And the, um, in, in the vector sum, we set a starting point and place a force there, in this case, uh, P. At the head of P, we place the other force, in this case, N. And the resultant goes from the start to the end. The resultant R must be equal to the tension to balance. Now we have a right triangle. We can apply Pythagoras. What do we know? That the load P is 48 pounds to the left, that the tension is 50, right? Because look, if this way is 50, the entire tension of the cable is 50. I know two legs and the triangle is a right triangle and I need to find one leg. Remember that a leg is calculated as the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the known leg squared. This is Pythagoras, right? And from here we solve, it gives us 14 pounds. We already have the other leg. But now how are we going to find x? So look at the following triangle. It is a right triangle, the triangle of lengths. This height is 20 inches. We need to find this distance and this angle is theta. But theta is the angle between the tension and the horizontal. Well, it turns out that we can calculate it here. We are going to calculate this theta, which is the same theta, the angle in the tension, between the tension and the horizontal. And in this triangle we say, tangent of theta will be the opposite side, n, but n gave us 14 over the adjacent side, 48. There it is, 14 over 48, and in the triangle of lengths, tangent of theta, 20 over x. Then we equate the tangent of theta from the first triangle with the tangent of theta from the triangle in length since it is the same angle and I will equate 14 over 48 to 20 over x. And there it is. In this equation the only thing we don't know is x. We solve for it. And we have the answer. x is 68.6 so the horizontal distance between the color and the weight must be 68.6 for this to be in equilibrium. And now, I invite you to visit my channel to enjoy this course on statics, a course on strength of material, structural analysis, machine design, and many more courses. I'll be waiting for you.